Welcome to the Borns Power Resistor Training Module. This module will describe characteristics of power resistors, provide data for high temperature performance, and present open air shunt resistors and their benefits. Planar thick film resistors have a wider resistance range with sheet resistances between 1 ohm and 1 meg ohm square. Because they are flat and use alumina with a thermal conductivity of 0.36 watts per centimeter Celsius, they can sustain a high amount of power with the right resistor materials, resistor pattern, and heat sinks. In drives where low inductance is needed, higher power density can be attained with these resistors. They also use the common TO220 casing which many engineers are familiar with. Borns offers microwave power type resistors that utilize thick film technology. These resistors have an aluminum nitride and beryllium oxide ceramic substrate and are used as dummy loads and balance resistors in high frequency, high power circuits. Common applications include GSM, UMTS, and WiMAX wireless networks as well as TV and radio broadcast. At high frequencies, a resistor becomes a much more complex element, defined by transmission line theory. In order for signals to propagate through a high-frequency circuit, the impedance of the circuit trace must be matched to the impedance of the load. If the load is an open circuit, a 50-ohm power resistor can connect the open connection to electrical ground. If this resistor is not implemented, then the signal will bounce back and disturb the operation of the circuit. This resistor needs a large surface area in order to safely dissipate the power that is built up in the resistor. This also increases an inherent capacitance in the resistor which is dissipated with a built-in inductive trace to pull the overall impedance as close to 50 ohm as possible. The signal is sent to the 50 ohm termination resistor, R1. Because of load matching, the signal is dissipated safely with a minimum amount of back reflections. In this way, the amplifier will still operate at 50% of capacity. Also, if the destination of the amplified signal is offline, for example a damaged antenna, the amplified signal will travel backwards through the coupler to the termination, R2, to ground safely without damaging the amplifier. Borns power resistors are available as surface mount or pre-mounted on a flange assembly. In the latter case, the customer must hand mount the resistor onto a heat sink and then solder the lead onto the circuit board. Key parameters of power resistors include power rating, frequency, and voltage standing wave ratio, or VSWR. Typical power ratings range from 10 watts to 500 watts. The telecom industry applications range from 10 watts to 250 watts, while resistors used in broadcast applications are rated up to 800 watts. The frequency range of radio tends to stay around 200 to 300 megahertz. Digital TV has a maximum of 1 gigahertz and cellular phone networks a maximum of 2 gigahertz. The VSWR of a resistor is related to the reflection coefficient and is desired to be as close to unity as possible. High power and high frequency circuits make it difficult to achieve a unity VSWR due to the large physical size of the resistor. The substrate of a power resistor can be made of beryllium oxide or aluminum nitride. Beryllium oxide is white in color, has excellent thermal properties, and has very low capacitance. Broadcast and military customers prefer this material, however it is banned by some manufacturers for health and safety reasons. Aluminum nitride is gray in color and has good thermal and RF properties. This is the preferred material of the telecom industry. This illustration shows an amplifier application with both surface mount and flange termination. Typical customers of power resistors include a niche market in the wireless telecom broadcast market who design and manufacture equipment for transmitting microwave signals. This includes complete transmitters or subcomponent production like amplifiers for plugging onto RF connectors on a base station tower or the base in a transmitter cabinet. Power handling in resistors depends on the overall appearance of the component. The flange has to be flat with no scratches, otherwise air pockets with very high thermal resistance will form. This could lead to failures in the field due to hot spots. Borns uses high quality copper in its flanges for this reason. The thickness of the flange itself leads to less pliability and better coplanarity, so Borns offers a unique 6 mm flange thickness. Additionally, Borns power resistors have good solderability with a nickel barrier and either gold or tin. The use of gold inhibits tin whisker growth. A stable VSW over the entire frequency range is important for RF performance. Borns also conforms to the industry standard with regard to mechanical size and main features of power, materials, and frequency. 
Open-air shunts are used within the current measurement section of a power electronics application such as three-phase motor windings or a domestic meter. This shunt should have very low resistance, low TCR, high current capability, and be cost-efficient. The PWR4412 has very good surge capabilities, as well as a TCR of 20 parts per million per degree Celsius, which is as good as manganin, the preferred material for shunts. The CRA2512 series of high power current sensing chip resistors has excellent pulse capability and high power density. Applications include battery chargers, inverter drives, and power supplies. A common application of SMD shunt resistors are automated controls where they measure the current and control the inverter. A common challenge for shunts in this type of application is how they behave in a high-temperature compact housing environment. Most shunts will desolder off the board if they get too hot. The CRA2512 behaves well under power and high ambient temperatures as shown on the next slide. Most inverters could be expected to operate at temperatures as high as 85 degrees Celsius. The CRA2512 is rated to 3 watts but should already be derated at 85 degrees Celsius. Running 1 watt through the device at 85 degrees Celsius, the temperature on the chip is about 100 degrees Celsius, which is quite acceptable. Shown in this graph, the CRA2512 has much better power handling than its competitors. The temperature on the chip does not exceed 90 degrees Celsius at 3 watts of power at ambient temperature. The CRA2512 series has excellent pulse characteristics for applications involving high inrushes of current, such as a motor starting up. This chart shows measurements taken from a 140 microsecond pulse with a maximum current of 82.5 amps across a 100 megohm resistor. Note that there is only a negligible change in resistance after the pulse. In summary, Borns offers a wide range of standard fixed resistors. Borns power resistors protect high power circuits from component failure damage and are available in surface mount or flanged assemblies. Finally, Borns open-air shunt resistors perform well in high-temperature environments.